up Keep that semi tough Cause I know I'm up Wake up, count it up Get my money up Keep that semi tough Cause I know I'm up Wake up, count it up Get my money up Keep that semi tough Cause I know I'm up Wake up, count it up Get my money up Keep that semi tough Cause I know I'm up Hope y'all enjoyed the video what up y'all it's raw racer and welcome back to another video and in today's video i'll actually be doing another speed glitch it's the comet sr speed glitch so i'm just gonna get right on to it so what you want to do is you want to lower the rear tires on the car just it has to be it doesn't really matter how many times you shoot it as long as the car lowers twice and as long as the car doesn't catch fire and start smoking you know that you did it right as you can see i lower it with a semi-automatic sniper now make sure there's no fire bullets on this car at all and for those people who are wondering where to find this car at, you can find it on Legendary Motorsports. It's about a million and a half dollars. We're two hundred fifty thousand. I'm pretty sure. And this speed glitch involves you having to also kick in the rear tires. It's very similar to the Pariah speed glitch, except for instead of lowering the tires all the way around, you just lower the rear two, and then also kick in the rear two as well. And you have to kick in both of the rear tires for the glitch to work properly. Like I said, you have to lower it with twice to so shoot under the rear part of the brake and kick this like the center part of the rim so that the tires are faced inwards to the body. And if they're not faced inwards, then the glitch isn't going to work correctly and it's not going to go as fast. But the car should look kind of like this in the rear. And that's literally it for this speed glitch because after that you did everything. Everything else for the rest of the video is literally just going to be me, you know, testing it against people and also showing you guys how fast it is. Now, the speed glitch is really fast. In my opinion, it's not as fast as the prior version of this speed glitch because this speed glitch actually takes a second to kick in. The speed glitch actually doesn't kick in until about 70 or 80 miles an hour. You can hear it like going through the gears after it hits about third or fourth gear. Now I don't think it's because of the how it the car is. I think it's just probably the way that I did it when I was recording. But for me personally, it only kicked in around 70 to 80 miles an hour, which in my opinion isn't really that good because with the Pariah, it kicks in instantaneously as soon as you let off the gas. It just goes right through all six of the gears and bam you going right to it but it's still a really fast glitch and yes I know the speed glitch is very old well it's not very old but it's pretty old now I know a lot of people probably know about it but there are a lot of people who actually don't and that's what this video is made for It's for the people who don't know about this speed glitch existing because there's actually a lot of people who are actually just not getting into speed glitches because before it was really just people didn't weren't really into speed glitches and now since the game is getting kind of old, people are starting to find new ways of trying to have fun. And this is one of the ways. So, make sure this car has no armor, no bulletproof tires. If you have bulletproof tires, then you're going to have to buy a whole new one because you can't get rid of them. Or if there is a way to get rid of them, please comment that down below. Because I actually have not found a single way of getting rid of them without just having to buy a new car. Or if when the merge glitch was working, you just merged it with a car that didn't have bulletproof tires and then it got rid of them automatically. But, as of right now, you have to buy a new one if it has bulletproof tires. Armor, does it, Armor you just want to have 0% armor because it works better and it's easier to do with 0% armor. And, this car doesn't really involve you having to do much else off of the line because it already has traction control. So, you're not really going to be spinning the tires as much anyways like the Pariah would. Where you kind of have to ease onto it a little bit if you want it to be fast. As you can see, I asked, of course, my friend Burger Boys to help me out with this for a little bit. And he was actually very happy to help me with this. And you will actually see we swapped cars just so that we can get a little a good comparison on this. Now, I do know that his car isn't fully maxed out. Because when I was, at first I was like, wow, this car is really fast. And then when I drove his, I could tell that the car wasn't really, you know, going like a regular version of that car should and even when I was trying to wheelie it I had problems with it kind of like you know like when the engine over revs when you do a wheelie like it's like you have a perfectly timed wheelie and all of a sudden you're just you're just revving gears but you're not doing anything with it 
And there are there are gonna be a lot of jump cuts only because I cut out the parts where he did mess up because I wanted to make it fair and I wanted it for him to have the best run that he could probably get out of the car. But like I said, this glitch kicks in at around 80 miles an hour, which is good. But for compared to a lot of other speed glitches, it's not really as good because a lot of other speed glitches are already gone by this point. But as it does get up to speed, it's actually pretty fast, actually, surprisingly. And right here is where y'all are going to see me actually driving his car. And in my opinion, honestly, it was kind of hard trying to get good with this because I'm not really used to driving a car that doesn't isn't maxed out fully like I used to be. So, like I said, there's going to be a lot of cuts in it. But for the rest of this, I'm just going to stop talking until I talk at the very end of the video. As y'all can see, this compared to the Vamos is pretty fast still regardless of even if it does kick in a little late. It's really fast. I do recommend this speed glitch for a lot of people who are trying to get into speed glitching when it comes to like the little bit more complicated or they just don't feel like spending the money for a pariah and they just want something that's cost a little bit less. This is a decent car for the price bracket. In my opinion, you're really getting your money's worth with it. But if you guys have any questions about the car or anything or how to find it, like I said, I already said it before, you can find this car on Legendary Motorsports. It's the Comet SR, as you said it said in the title, so I shouldn't be getting any questions about that. But that's all I got to say. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Follow my Instagram at Ron underscore racer for more, and I will be going live on Wednesday and Fridays as usual. But that's all I got to say for today. Bye.